2017. It's the 20th year of Bioontologies at ISMB. My name is Robert Herndorf. Um, the session was supposed to be chaired by Michel de Montier, and we had to make a last minute switch. Um, just some basic announcements so you know this. If you do not know the password yet, it's Prague 17 for our Wi Fi. And there are several things which are very new this year at Bioontologies. This is the first time that Bioontologies has been integrated in the ISMB conference proper as a COSI. So it's no longer a SIG, now it's a COSI, a community of special interest. And this brings some opportunities and also some challenges with it. So first we get the submissions to ISMB. They are no longer separate. So there was always an ontology track at ISMB and then there was the SIG which was separate. And now these are integrated, we have two proceedings papers which were accepted at ISMB, the main conference, and then several papers which were directly submitted to our community of special interest. This allows us some greater presence and also some integration in the ISMB and the main community. It also led to a lot of uh, challenges this year because it was the first year that I am, ISMB made the switch and a lot of six and communities of special interest um, we're facing some challenges, mainly with different easy chair setups where submissions were submitted to the wrong place and they had to be migrated manually if somebody actually found out. So this will hopefully all be resolved next year when this is more streamlined. So this was an experiment this year and I think, uh, I'm not sure, it will be at the main ISMB conference announcement at the end if they will keep it and how they will change it. Um, this year was also, we did not pursue the JBMS special issue in which we used to uh, published some selected papers and in some sense it was due to having submissions to the main track of the conference and we really would like to hear your feedback on whether or not this is a good idea or if you w would uh, want us to have this JBMS special issue with some of the papers from the Bioontologies COSI uh, again. Also this kind of trickle down accepts where somebody submitted a full paper and we kind of could only accept it as a flash update or as a, as a short paper. We're kind of harder to manage this year just because it was a little bit all distributed. Um, okay, this year we got 24 submissions at Bioontologies. This is 10 more than last year. We accepted 12 papers. We got nine papers to the proceedings of which we accepted two. We accepted two out of three short papers eight out of 12 flash updates, and we have 19 posters. And one thing that is very nice, and maybe also a result of the integration of Bioontologies with the main conference, this year we have 150 ISMB participants, which registered and said they were mainly affiliated with Bioontologies. So this is a great number. Okay, um, on our agenda, we will, after these remarks, um, it will be chaired by me, not by Michelle. We have our first keynote uh, by Robert Stevens, and then we have a 20-year anniversary um, session in which we have some small summary and historical remarks, and then we have a panel of some um, experienced bioontologists and also some um, active and young researchers and PIs in this field where we can hear a bit about the past, the present, and the future. Um, today, in the evening, we will have a paper writing session where we try to write or outline, the, um, um, where we try to generate the outline for a perspective paper. So essentially, what will bioontologies bring? What will we do in the next 20 years after we have been running for 20? And tomorrow we will have one special session. It's a one-minute madness. If you did not submit, if your paper did not get accepted, you still want to say something, you have one minute to say it, please register by tweeting to us. Uh, I'll put the Twitter hashtag uh, out later. And then we have um, another session tomorrow, so all day. For the talks, please stay on time. We have strict time limits. When the time is up, let's just, and the alarm goes off, let's just collectively clap and thank the speakers. Uh, <laughs> um, just so that we are fair to the next speaker and we don't have to cut them short before somebody running over time. So please stay on time in your talks. 
Um, the poster session, we have two poster sessions. We have one today in the evening, six to seven, and we have another poster session tomorrow at lunchtime. So please set the posters up today. You should have set them up probably now. Um, and take them down tomorrow, otherwise they will be gone. And the posters are here at this star. This is where the posters are. Um, there are two areas, I think this area and this area, we are here in Congress Hall for you to see, I guess. Okay, so our Twitter hashtag is bioon17, you can use that. If you want to register for the One Minute Madness, please um, just tweet to us that you want to give a talk and we will put this down. If you have any comments and suggestions, there's also our email address. Okay, and without any further ado, uh, I think I would like to introduce our first keynote speaker. And he does not really need an introduction. So Robert Stevens has been with the Bioontology communities from the very start. And Robert is a professor in health informatics at the University of Manchester. He was there in the beginning of Biontologies. He has been the chair of the Biontologies meeting of the Biontologies SIG. He has been chair of the, bio, of the ontology track of ISMB for many years. I think eight years he was the chair of Biontology SIG. So I think most of us will know Robert and I will not spend a lot of time introducing him. And I would invite all of you to welcome Robert for our